The ocean is the world's biggest swimming pool, but there aren't any lifeguards. Luckily, that's not a problem. Sea creatures know how to swim from the very beginning. When it comes to swimming styles, the only rule in this pool seems to be different strokes for different folks. But if you look more closely, you'll see that they all have something in common. It's called the wave. This flatworm is one of the simplest animals in the sea, but it's a genius when it comes to doing the wave. In fact, it can turn its whole body into a wave, which is easy when you don't have any bones. The eel has the same strategy. It doesn't swim around very much, but being wavy helps it wiggle into nooks and crannies. The sea snake does the same thing, only sideways. Its back end is one big flat tail fin, and its body is one big wave. By waving its tail back and forth, the snake moves around the reef. Like the snake, many fish can make waves with their bodies. Jacks need more speed because they have to cover bigger distances. So they keep their body straight as an arrow, but make a strong little wave with their tails to shoot them through the water. It might not look like it, but even this flounder is making the wave. The flounder appears to be flat, but it's really lying on its side. That's right, the flounder has evolved this sideways lifestyle so it can hide more easily on the sea floor. The remora would rather be hitching a ride on a shark, but when none are around, it demonstrates a perfect wave. Why is the wave so popular? Because it helps creatures make an S shape, and that's the best shape for pushing off against the water. But big waves aren't all there is to swimming. You need to be able to steer and stop. That's where the pectoral fins come in. They make little waves and help this puffer fish move around in tight spaces. The seahorse is like a hummingbird, using pectoral fins to hover like a helicopter. And like the wings of a hummingbird, its pectoral fins move so fast you can't even see them. The parrotfish uses its pectorals like oars, rowing around the reef like an experienced boatman. Sometimes the pectorals are bigger than the tail. This ray's pectorals are so big that it can fly like a bird, soaring across the reef in search of prey. But even they make a wave. Waves tell us a lot about sea creatures, like how far they swim and how fast. When sea creatures make the wave, it means they're going places. The shark can make the wave with its body and its tail, giving it remarkable speed and power. That's bad news for prey, and it's probably why everyone likes to see a shark waving goodbye.